Good morning, folks. You are looking at the signatures of a large earthquake that occurred as yesterday's news was uploading. The shock ripped L waves across the globe. The 6.4 earthquake hit just off the coast of Baja in the primary area of earthquake focus from the previous two videos. One buoy in event mode is not a concern. We also had a 5.9 up in Alaska and an unusual shake in Mozambique. The world is waking up to our current climate emergency. Now they just need to realize it's not just warming and that human CO2 is a very tiny fraction of the problem. If you did not see this yesterday, it's a documentary by Suspect Sky. Everyone who wishes I showed more UFOs, the loud booms, strange sounds, or the social aspects of all of this, you will enjoy. Tropical Cyclone Evan has turned deadly and is still a threat to the West Pacific. At the end of this video, all world weather shots will be displayed, but the focus right now is on a powerful system charging across the United States. The North Pacific lows have been stagnating south of Alaska, but once this one got a hold of a California dream, it was over. It took off east and has now planted itself in the breadbasket. We are zoomed in here on the center of this helical cloud motion. It's driven by that powerful low. Given that the east side is shooting north and the back side is pulling air down south, the temperature delta should be starting to make sense to everyone. There will be severe weather tonight. I implore you to keep checking your local weather after lunchtime. Tomorrow is going to be a lot worse. And for those of you feeling left out out west, more snow coming your way. Ovation Prime is showing significant energy in the Aurora Electrojet despite no geomagnetic storms and no major space weather impacts. The speed of the solar wind has steadily risen but nowhere near high. Density has remained at an elevated level for days. With our weakening shield, it may be possible that this is minute plasma penetration through our failing magnetosphere. So much energy integrated through our polar regions, we nearly had a radiation storm on Earth last night. Looking at the sun, the dark southern coronal hole is moving on. Speaking of moving on, we watched the birth of these active regions and now we will say goodbye. There is absolutely no doubt as to the primary solar feature right now. It appears the sun wants December 21st to at least be interesting. That filament off the eastern limb sat atop a monster of an active region that is just showing herself now. This will be center disk in about one week. Heliocentric alignments and the magnetism say big flares could be coming at Earth soon. Eyes open, no fear, it's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.